Hey guys, it's Claudia here and I'm back with another process video. So for this layout I'm using a photo of myself and the photo was taken on my birthday and I'm just mounting my photo on this uh, pink chevron paper with gold glitter which I really loved and was kind of hoarding because it's just so beautiful and I, I bought two for it when I bought this collection so I did have an extra sheet of it which I already used up by now but I was still hoarding this second piece and kind of to you know think twice about when I'm using it and I knew that for this layout I wanted to do a layout um, using a lot of pink so that's basically what my concept or idea for this layout was when I started making this I wanted lots of pink which you know works fine because I'm a girl so <laughs> easy enough so as you saw now I was kind of going through my 6x6 paper pad trying to find another paper to mount my photo on and I decided to go for that paper with that kind of burlap uh, stripes to at least a little bit uh, of a different color instead of all pinks so now I'm just going through my container of embellishments to uh, pick out all the pink embellishments or the embellishments with gold which would also work with a pink theme layout so I'm putting those in the little plastic container thingy where the ephemera came in in the first place and I'm just kinda playing around and see where I want everything to go. I'm not gonna use everything I pulled aside because it's way too much and it would just be a waste to put it all on this layout because it doesn't need that many um, things, especially not if I'm gonna add chipboard and stickers later on. So I'm just kind of playing around. I knew I wanted to use that a pink tag that was like dipped in gold glitter. I've been hoarding that too so I was like you know for this layout I'm just gonna use that because it would work fine and the same goes for the camera but with the camera it was a different story it was more that I didn't really have a purpose for it or didn't feel like it would work with any of the other layouts I've made so far so I was trying to see if maybe I was gonna replace that tag but I decided not to because it's fine the way it was so just keep it that way and yeah I'm just kind of playing around with how I want it to look and I'm not going to overthink it I'm just kind of you know putting stuff where it looks fine and then just going with it I'm not going to move things around a whole lot at least I don't think I did <laughs> so yeah well you see me later on that I wasn't too happy with the layout and I'm gonna go back and change it but we'll get to that in a bit so I'm just cutting out the mi the middle part of this little die cut because I thought maybe I could use that on another layout or something I didn't want to waste it because you know I like to save as many things as possible because I want to get as many layouts done as possible and this is my 13th layout with this collection and I still have quite a bit of, you know, embellishments and ephemera and paper left. So I think maybe I'm going to be able to do six more layouts. I have some ideas for layouts I want to do with this collection. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do those first and then see what I have left. And if I can make more layouts with that. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just kind of now sticking down everything I had pull the side and put on my layout and I'm using those um, 3D pops I'm just gonna call them 3D pops um, to add on those smiles for days so it kinda stands up on the page I'm just putting down the camera and now I'm just going to add that little strip of burlap or at least not yet I think I'm gonna add stickers first <laughs> So I'm adding that arrow, which is like half pink, half craft color, I guess. And this little pink sticker with an um, at symbol, which I only added because it's pink and it matched the color scheme. So I'm just cutting that in half so I can put it on the other side of the layout so it kind of looks as if it's like one uh, long thing instead of 
you know, just on one side, which I do quite often. You'll see me do that quite often. So I put this little heart in the camera and I've done this <laughs> on every layout that I've used a camera on so far, but I don't care. It looks fine and I'm just going to keep doing it for all the cameras I use. So now I'm just getting out some puffy stickers. Um, not puffy stickers, I mean the tiny words phrases to just add those because they always work well. And one says a happy little note and I can't remember what the one on the top says. So here I'm just adding some chipboard. Uh, I think I only add those two pieces. I was kind of debating on if I wanted to add more but I decided not to. And I'm also kind of thinking if I want to add that hard or not but I decided not to because I was like thinking to myself that I could use that for another layout and I feel like at this point this layout doesn't really need much more ephemera so I decide to just save it for another layout that's what I tend to do quite often too like if it doesn't need it I'd rather save it for another layout and here I'm just looking to see if I can add more stickers but I decide not to and here I make a mistake because I'm adding splatters with my big brush and I painted yesterday and it was supposed to be clean but it was like kind of mixed with purple black or something like it wasn't properly clean so my splatters came out way darker than I wanted them to and I was a little bit sad about that because for me it ruined the layout at that moment and I was a little bit sad about that but I think in the end it looks fine so I guess I got lucky but next time I'm gonna use that paintbrush I'm gonna clean it so here I stopped and came back because it was the final layout at first but I was not happy with it at all so that's why the lighting changed I apologize that the lighting looks horrible in this last part of the video um, but yeah I didn't like the way it looks it was too pink so I wanted to add a little bit of different colors to the layout so I just decided to make a few banners and I'm just using kind of neutral brown colors like nothing too serious but I just wanted to add a little bit of a different color instead of it being so pink everywhere so I'm just doing that right now just cutting out little banners and placing it on the layout I'm just doing one on the top left and bottom right and I like the way that it looks in the end. I also added those few uh, florals. And I wasn't going to use them at first, but because I wanted everything to be pink and the floral outlines are navy or black, it, I don't know. But since I was going to add those banners, I figured that it would work nice with the layout, so I decided to add those. So I'm just taking down my banner now. And, well, there's not much to say about that. But I guess in the end, I'm happy that I went back and kind of changed it. You know, I think sometimes it's good if you are not happy with the way a lay layout looks to just, you know, take a break from it, go do something else, and then come back to it with a fresh mind. And I went out for about an hour. And when I came back, I had an idea of how I could kind of, you know, fix this layout. So that's what I did. And I'm thinking that I want to add a title too. So you'll see me do that in a little bit. After I put down these two flowers. So I didn't really know what I wanted for the title. But I'm just trying to think of ways now. Oh, I'm also adding that scissor that big scissor with the gold foil and all I'm gonna do after this is add my title which is going to be this is me and it's a simple title but it was a good way for me to use up some stickers and some of those uh, small alpha stickers so here I'm p pulling out my stickers and I'm just kinda putting them on my layout not really putting them down quite yet because I wanted to see if it would look good before I would put it down and maybe not be able to get it off. So now I'm just going to add the meat with those figures. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I apologize again for the bad lighting on the second part. 
and I'll be back with some process videos soon and there'll be some close-ups of the layout at the end.